Hey guys, today I'm going to be crashing Defending Scrabble Player Champion Josh Sokol's weekly online Monday Blitz Scrabble tournament for the second time. I did this about a month ago or so, and it was really fun and also a really popular video, so I've been waiting to do it again, and today seemed like a good day. Now, last time, as many of you who saw the video may recall, by the way, please do check it out if you haven't already. It was really, really fun and hilarious. I used the anonymous username Fabio. So today I'm, of course, not going to be using Fabio because a large chunk of people know who Fabio is, and that would kind of ruin the whole point. So I'll be using a different username today that I think is uh, going to be one that people aren't necessarily going to think is me. You'll maybe see what I mean once the username is revealed as soon as I start playing. But in any case, it should be a lot of fun. It's going to be a, a tall order to perform as well as I did with Fabio because I went 5-0 and and won the tournament that day. And, of course, I'm going to be facing some stiff competition, so we'll see how I do. But uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. So enjoy, guys, and wish me luck. Alrighty, guys, here we go. So round number one is underway. We're playing Ryan Chepida, an expert from... I believe uh, either Toronto or Ottawa area in Canada. I'm not exactly sure, but I actually played him last time in the first round of Mundali as well. So rematch from that. Let's see here. I think I'll just play Job over here. Get rid of a couple clunky tiles. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't see anything great through that E, so let's just do that. All right. We get the GH together, which is actually not that bad. I'll try to play Do or something. We'll see. I I feel like with this uh, with this username, people are not in their wildest dreams going to imagine that it's me. I mean, I have nothing against Taylor Swift at all. I do listen to her music here and there, but I certainly would not call myself a Swifty in real life. I do generally like most pop country style music, but I uh, I wouldn't say. Taylor Swift is one of my top artists. That being said, she certainly has some good songs. But in any case, um, by the time everyone is done with this video, they're going to know all too well that this is me. Okay, so he plays Tame. And I don't really see anything great. Uh, I could play something with Beat. Thou, maybe? It's okay. It's not great. I uh, don't really see anything... I guess Taut. Yeah, why don't we play Taut? That's probably better. 24 points. Okay, non-title to the L and Heels is there. Anything else? Don't think so. No sevens. Add Nation doesn't play. Donation with an O. Anti-Node anointed with an E. Yeah, I don't see anything other than non-title, which is unfortunately blocked. Oh, but Ad Nation is here now, though. I don't think there's anything with a P or a U. Inundate? No. All right, Ad Nation it is. Oh, boy. Uh, I mean, he's probably going to block this N. Cohen years through the U is a double-double if it's the N is blocked. Uh, a, B, Obsceneer, uh, Censored, Encoders, Necrost... Seconder, and forces. Gosh, there's got to be a triple triple here, right? Rechosen, no. Oh, J and Sorcell and Closer. On screen. Gosh, Necroses. All right, well, he blocked it anyway, so at least I don't have to spend like four out of my last five minutes trying to find it. Yeah, I mean, I have like recourse, resource. I have a million things through this U. I don't think it's worth spending. All that much time. Yeah, colon years looks all right. Let's just do that. Okay. Uh, do I have something here? Almost rock star, which is... I mean, Taylor Swift, I wouldn't really say is a rock star per se, but still close enough that it's pretty ironic given my username. Okay, he plays whiny. I've a pretty good lead here. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't think I have a bingo here, guys. I'm pretty sure. I could just play rock. It's honestly not bad. I don't think I have anything on the bottom left that's particularly good. Uh, yeah, coming with beer. I think I'll just play rock over here. I don't know. I don't really see anything much better. I draw the Q, which is not great. Oh, maybe I should have... You know, I probably should have played something with the O and Ad Nation. Although, Koa leaves a pretty bad leave. I didn't see that spot in time, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. All right, he does get a bingo down. He plays Revi Revisal. Um, all right, I guess... 
What do I have through this U? Anything ending in an S? Cool. Wait, do I not have anything there? That's wild. Huh. I don't actually think I have anything. So maybe I just drop the uh, drop the Q. I should bingo a lot. Yeah, let's just drop the Q. I think that's fine. And now I get the X. Well, too bad I dropped the Q there. I could have played Oxo for 50, but... Okay. Oh, that's a new word. That did not used to be valid, but it is now. I'll just play Wax, I think, in the bottom left. It's a decent number of points. Could play Ixoras from the eye, but that's definitely better. Just play Wax. Yeah, 41. What am I up? 70-ish? Alright, I mean, I should be... I have the last S, too. There's not a lot of places to bingo here. Plays Wino. I have a good overlap, like O N E, like Wonder. That's not good. Uh, R O. Hmm. I mean, I could play like Over. It's not bad, honestly. Or Oven. No, I want to play Oven because of Amino or Amino. That's not a good idea. Uh, let's see. I could honestly probably just play like over here. I mean, that looks pretty good. It's 24 points. Yeah, spread does matter, so why don't I just do that? I can maybe hit something with MILFs. We'll see. Borains, uh, does it play? I don't think so. He plays do pretty quickly. I still got three minutes though, so. All right. Uh, Borains doesn't fit under there. I could just, yeah, maybe I just cash in and take out that spot. Now, I don't know. Maybe I do just do something there. Yeah, this might... I mean, this is actually a lot. It's 37. Maybe I just do that. Like, yeah, why don't I just do that, guys? I mean, that's a lot of points. I really don't... Oh, I have Tardy or Terry now, too, even. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I really don't see myself running into any issues here, most likely. If he opens any lines up for sevens, I'm just going to bingo. And I'm not really worried about being outscored without a bingo. I mean, there is a Z unseen, but there's nowhere to play it for, like, a ton of points. Plays Elite. So, should be able to do something there. I mean, I can just play, like, Rid. Is that best? Uh, it might be. Probably D-Rat. Actually, no, let's keep a better leave. I'd rather play Rid, because there's some clunky stuff. I don't want to play D-Rat and end up with, like, drawing Z-Y-U or something. I think this is better. Yeah, see, because I drew F-U-Z, and this will just give me more flexibility. Now, I also had to be a little careful there, because Yawk is available, and he could have also bingoed out if I played D-Rat. That was another reason why I didn't want to do it, because I could theoretically lose if I drew the Z and he bingoed out with, like, Introfy or something in Yawk. Now, if he bingos there, he's not emptying the bag because there's still one left, which means I'll still get another turn and I'd still be able to win easily. So that was honestly the, the bigger reason for not playing D-Rat besides the fact, like I said, that I leave myself vulnerable to, to poor draws. But yeah, I don't think there's any possible sevens. There's Diatron, but that of course doesn't play. He'd need to end... Oh, there's Tardy on. That also doesn't play. Uh, don't think there's anything else that could possibly go above okay, so... I mean, he might try a one-tile fish here. I'm not really sure what he could possibly muster, though. That actually opens another line. You could play, like, Iyer for three or something above the R and Rock, maybe? I don't know. It seems like it's going to be pretty tough for for him to really open anything. Because, again, he can only play off one tile if he if he wants to fish, just because... If he plays off more than one, then he's going to have fewer than seven tiles, which of course means he can't bingo, because he needs seven tiles to bingo. So, yeah, he's taking some time here, probably just seeing if there's any way to open a line. I, I really don't think so, though, guys. I mean, also, let's face it, if he did somehow open a line, it's, it's going to be probably pretty easy for me to just block. So what do I want to do? Well, I have a nice play here, actually. I can play Phase and Famine in a line. That's pretty cool. Keeping Rut, which should go out. Yeah, that would leave me Run through the NNY as well as Trude to the ED on the top left. All right, well, he plays Doi, so I guess I'll just, well, Zeta or Futz? So, probably, well, Zeta leaves me Turf. Oh, he's going to go out with, well, he's going to go out, right? Because he's going to have Nary. 
So Z is 69 minus 14 is 55 futs. 60 minus 8 is 52. Z is a couple more than that. Let's do that. Yeah, because he's going out, so it's really just uh, all about uh, all about net. So, all right, good uh, good game. Let's do a quick analysis here. See what I I missed. Always always a little bit shaky. I feel like in the first game, but let's see. Job looks okay. Yeah, taut looks fine. Not much else to really do. Ad nation only bingo. Yeah, okay, nothing much else here. Bunch of stuff. Double doubles. Um, oh, I didn't see pork there. That's a cool fit. Yeah, probably a bit better than what I did. The C is a good tile. I missed Koa until after I hit my clock. Yeah, pork is a little bit better, but not like a huge mistake or anything. Drop the... Oh, no, he missed midlife. Wow. Yeah, that would have... Uh, I mean, I would have scored pretty well with midlifer, so I still would have had the advantage, but that was uh, definitely an opportunity there for, for him. Now, fortunately for me, he didn't take advantage of. Um, but yeah, no, overall, this actually looks like a pretty clean game otherwise. Maybe, eh, I don't know. I think boring is, or boners, rather, is fine just to keep an extra valid. And I blocked in title, so it was a good thing I went down there. Yeah, okay. Pretty clean game to, to start off. And that's good. 1-0 start for Swifty18 here. Thankfully, I didn't lose. I would have had to try to shake it off before my second game. So, yeah, we'll see uh, see what we can do in game number two. It should be starting any moment. Hey guys, so game two is going to be a little bit different. Unfortunately, my recording software completely crashed as I was recording the game, and I decided rather than coming live into the game in the middle, which would have been pretty confusing for you guys, I'm just going to start from the beginning after the fact and analyze it from the start. It was a really good game. My opponent was David Weisberg, who many of you maybe are familiar with from a video I posted recently on a really cool endgame position I had. Uh, David was my opponent there. It was a really wild position. I ended up winning by a point. Great game and a great video, so be sure to check that one out if you haven't already. But in any case, David's another very strong expert. He and I have played a few times in tournaments, had some really good games, and this one was no exception. I was first. Uh, I started with Y, which uh, looks like the best play. It's kind of a weird-looking play because it keeps three vowels, but there's just no good way to score more points. There's no fives here or anything. I didn't want to play Yao because it gives back a lot of overlaps. Uh, David responded with Geek, keeping it tight. Here I had a bunch of options. Uh, I could have played Dogbane, which I didn't see. But that would have opened up a lot, including the spot on the triple down below. So I ended up just keeping things tight with a go over here. Maybe a little bit too cautious, but it keeps a pretty good lead, especially the IN for hitting the G. So I don't think it's terrible. Uh, David had a bunch of difficult tiles. He made a smart play here, getting rid of them with fitting. I played Edify. I didn't like the leave, but it does score 40 points. Uh, I could have done Deify, which it turns out would have been better because David immediately capitalized playing Plume for 60 points. And uh, I had quite a draw here. I had... Uh, a draw of U U U P on a four tile pool. I, I did have Bun, and that was one nice thing about Edify was that it did set up my B for buy. And I did at least play this. It does keep two U's, so wasn't great, but uh, at least I had something. And uh, David responded with Clotted through the T. I had, of course, still two U's from my last rack. Uh, not much to do here. Cuber seems fine. Scores a bit. Keeps E P U. David close to a bingo here, but he didn't have anything. It's worth mentioning that uh, that Geek does not take. An S, so there are, uh, are no options over there. He plays OM. I managed to get decouple down, which anagrams decupled, C-U-P-E-L-E-D. Decouple is a verb meaning to multiply by 10. So this does take an S and a D, which David capitalizes on. He makes his best play here of dual for 38, doubling the, the D both ways. And uh, yeah, I played cannot over here. I, I really hated opening up this S hook with four unseen. I just didn't have other options. Like, I got to get rid of this Q. Maybe I should have played claw for... 16 less. It's a lot of points to give up, though, especially when my lead is not that large. Of course, with this rack, David has many bingos. He elects to play Resoul down here. Difficult turn for me. I played Ox. I could have played Azo. I decided not to just because it gives back a lot more scoring potential on the top row, but it does score a few more points, so it's not a crazy idea. He responds with Infra, which looks like a good play. Luckily, it gave me a good Z spot. I played Za pretty quickly here. Uh, David's got a lot of bingos in this position. He plays Aerials, and uh, I thankfully... Drew well. I have negative in two spots. I play it over here from the end in Canats. I could have played it from this end, but it's of course worse. It scores four fewer points and also stops one b below a, or one above, I should say, a double word score with an S unseen. So don't want to do that yet yeah, here. This was a tough turn for, for David. He ended up playing Pa, hoping to maybe draw an Alpingo that I, I wouldn't block. I was close to a Ski Jorah here, S K I J O R E R, actually, if there were an S open in the right position, but no such luck. I had to. 
go and make sure that uh, David didn't have an L bingo with these seven tiles. I saw ovations with an O, which was not available, so I knew he wasn't going to be able to bingo. I played Jerk, saving Noir or Nori from the end and Infra to go out next turn. Uh, he can block it, but it's not really worth it for him, too. So he just played Avion over here, and uh, I went out and ended up winning this game by a score of 431 to 405. So really close game throughout is a, a really good game, as uh, a lot of uh, my games with David tend to be. So... Yeah, David also played really, really, really well this game. High quality stuff. So, again, guys, apologies that I only have the analysis on this game, but it was a really good game, and I, I didn't want to not show it at all. So, uh, for the rest of the games, thankfully, my recorder behaved, and I do have the live footage. But uh, for this one, the analysis will have to do. So, we're 2-0 after this one. Uh, again, guys, apologies for that, but hope you still enjoyed it. And moving on now to game three, which we're coming to live. Hey guys, round three is underway. Let me quickly open with uh, Adenine over here. I am playing none other than Z-Man, who is uh, Zach Ansel, who had a really crazy game against the first time I ever uh, did this as Fabio a little while ago. Um, you might remember that game if you saw that first video. I, uh, I was down like 150 points. I ended up coming back and winning. So rematch from that one. Here I got off to a good start, but he responds well with XI. So vowing or vow? Let's see. Vow is 23... Vowing, 17. I think it's worth 6 points to get rid of that G. The G is so bad, especially with that constant heavy rack. So let's uh, let's just do that. 3 T's, not great, but I'll be able to dispose of a lot of them with something like Tempted on my next turn. So that's good. And we'll see what I'm able to do after that. Or if that gets blocked, I should say. Um, but yeah, I guess there's also a tempt from this A, but that would stop one before a triple line. So I'm not really sure I'm going to want to do that necessarily. And he bingos with gratify. So he takes a lead here. Vowing, that's a nice play. I'll play tempt over here now. It's a lot of points. 37. It's a little risky, but not too bad. So, all right, I get an S, which is good, but a little bit of a clunky draw to go with it. So we'll see what I can do here. Uh, maybe dot through this O or something? Uh, I don't think I have much through this E. I could try to play Thug somewhere, but I don't see anywhere. Great. All right, he dumps vowels with Rebe, so that stops one before a double. So I, he didn't have an S. There's, I mean, there's no way he wouldn't just play Rebe's for 20 more if he had the S. So I could play Thugs now. Which isn't a bad idea. I think I'm better off playing Dot. The S is so good here between Arabies and Temps. Yeah, let's do that. And, uh, oh, Titanus. Okay, so he, oh, he did, well, he probably just drew the S. Okay, so yeah, I have Titanus for 68. It looks pretty good. Let's take it. Okay, and six vowels. Wow. Not ideal, but I have Kui on my rack, so I'll be able to hopefully do that. I mean, Kui's is there, but... Scores like 9, which I'd rather score more than 9. But I might have to score 9 if I don't get another spot for Kui or something else. So we, uh, we'll have to see what he does. But yeah, I mean, Kui's is looking like my only real option here other than trading. He plays... Oh, well, Kui... Uh, well, Doni is good, right? It's with Tui. So yeah, that's definitely... I mean, it gives back a big spot for 18 points, though. That's got to be worth it. Bravos uh, with an ES. Where is it going? Probably nowhere right now, unfortunately. But we uh, we'll see what he does. Maybe he'll, uh, he'll hopefully give me a spot. Uh, ooh, dang, not quite. Quips, but doesn't quite fit with Bravos. All right, I got time here, guys. We, we we're both playing very fast. Um, probably above saving the S. Because I just don't have that much with quips. And this way, there's a J and a Z left, too, guys. Like, I want to block this. Yeah, ORS is pretty good lead with all those E's. I'm saying, let's do that. All right, not a great draw, but not terrible. I don't think I... I still don't have much with quips. That's the thing. I mean, Foz, but, like, it's not that good. Uh, what am I up? Not a ton. 43. Yeah, probably be more inclined if I can score a bit with O for something. Maybe even a far over here. I'm not worried about the Z because you can't put anything in front of fa. Maybe, yeah, probably a far there is, is pretty good. Um, 
Let's see, I don't know. Oh, actually, I have Oaf on the bottom left. That looks really good. I mean, it takes out Temps and I have an S, but there's also blank S unseen. So playing a little defense, not necessarily bad. Play is Lich. Okay, it doesn't take anything in the front, I don't think. I'm going to stick to my plan here and play Oaf. That looks pretty good to me. Arises, A-R-R-A-S-E-S, -E probably not going to go down. I get the last S, though, which is good. A lot of one-pointers. Probably I'll just play something with Quips. I'd probably Arse, because if I play Raise, he can bingo to that R. It's tough to bingo to an A, so probably Arse is better. I have a lead that, I mean, I don't know. It feels like it should hold on if he doesn't bingo, especially if I hit a nice Quips play now, but there's Jay-Z, K-W-Y on scene. There is a lot of scoring. Um... Uh, do I have something there? Shoot, I don't think so. Yeah, too many duplicates. Other than heiresses, I don't see anything. Well, with all those high point tiles, it's not actually that likely he has a bingo. I mean, there is a blank, but... I mean, I think I got a score here. So, yeah, let's do this. Hopefully he doesn't hit something. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if he does hit something, I'm probably lost. Although, I don't know, if he only scores, it depends. Like, if he only scores, like, 60, I can actually probably... Oh, shoot! I missed that. Good play. Dang it. Yeah, I should have done that. I completely whiffed that. Yeah, I totally forgot about where you're valued. Shoot. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's a tie game now, so I need to be careful. Just completely forgot about it. Yeah, I should have totally done that on that last turn. I could play Jerky or... Maybe something through this E. Uh, huh. Tricky, tricky. Or just Juice. That gets rid of my S. Jaker? No, I don't want to get back to all that. Yeah, I mean, Jerky doesn't seem terrible. The problem is, if he, if he bingos in either spot, I'm probably just losing. Yeah, this is a very tough turn. Uh... Wish I didn't miss a reavowing. That would have definitely made it easier. But I did. Um, okay, so. Huh. There's just nothing really great. I mean, I could play like Raj, but I don't want to keep the K. Yeah, I think um probably leaning towards jerky, keeping ADS. It seems pretty good. If he even goes through that E, I'd probably lose, but. I mean, it's probably something I risk I got to take. I just don't really see another... I mean, I could play Jerked, I guess, also, keeping AS. Is that better? No, Jerky's more points. I mean, E is probably slightly easier to bingo through than the L and the Y, but not by a ton with that pool. Um, huh. Yeah, I'm not sure here, guys. This is a tough turn. Very tough turn. Honestly, not entirely sure what I'm I'm supposed to do. I could just, I, I just don't think I should play Jaker and open all that on the top. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Jerky. I just, I worry about getting outrun too if I play Jerk. I think this is a pretty good play. 27 points. Yeah, shoot. He's probably been going through that E now. Although, if he stops 104 the triple and whatever he does takes an S, then I'm going to play something with the Z for a lot. Yeah, I mean, if he bingos from the E, he definitely wins. If he bingos for 60, I mean, I might, if he can't go out, still be able to outscore him, potentially. But we'll see. Yeah, the pool is extremely scary. So, I mean, and I just, I don't even have anything to this R and Arevis, I don't think, right? Because, like, Dazer isn't good. Laser. Shoot. Yeah, I don't think I have anything there. And, oh, Wow. Emptying the bag? Really? Wow, I'm a little surprised to see that. Okay. Well, let me see if I can do this endgame now. I've got a minute. Uh, I mean, I think I'm winning. He's got Wormill, but nowhere to play it with a blank R. That's a shocking play. Emptying the bag like that? Wow. I feel like that couldn't have been right, but I don't know. What do I know? Um, so, all right. What I mean, if I just play like Zaz... I mean, he plays Wiz, then, um, shoot, so Wiz, I think I win, because I have Ladle. I mean, he can block Ladle, though. Um, do I not have another out? Oh, I have Alder as well. Yeah, Alder should outrun Wiz. I mean, I don't care too much about spread. I just want to win this game. But I should probably play, oh, I should probably just play, like, Lazed on the bottom. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, if I just play, like, Lazed, then Saul, that's got to be better, guys. Yeah, because then I don't get back Wiz. Yeah, let's just do this, and then I don't even think he has a 5 under there. I mean, I, I don't see how I lose after this, unless I'm missing something crazy. I mean, yeah, he's got Willem and Wormill, but, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're not going anywhere. So I think I'm going to win. Because, yeah, I mean, I've got, obviously, multiple out spots. And I, I don't even see anything under Lazed he can have that's particularly good, honestly. I mean, he could play, like, Moyles, but that keeps the W. Yeah, that his red in the play really surprised me. I mean, I just, I can't imagine emptying the bag in a way that only leaves you six tiles is right there. Like, you're just, you're going down a tempo... And the pool is flexible enough. Like, if I go out in two, I get two plays, he gets one in the tie game. It's going to be very hard for him to win. And when with that good a rack, it just feels like he's, pro he's probably better off going for a bingo. All right, so he plays Vims with, uh, with Donnie's over there. So he has Saul, my best out. Uh, I'm not sure, but... Um, oh, okay, no laps isn't 16. I think that's the best I see. Let's do that. Wow, good game. Phew. Um, yeah, that was, that was intense. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look. I mean, there's probably a lot to unpack here, but I'm going to have to go to my next game. So, all right, let's see. Maybe I should have sacrificed two points there when I played Adonai. I probably shouldn't have put all those vowels next to the, uh, doubles, honestly. I was trying to just play fast. Nice find to gratify by Zach there. Only bingo. Temp looks good. Yeah, Oribi, I guess that's fine. Yeah, there's not a lot of other options. Maybe I should cash in, but I think Dot is fine. The ST is so powerful here. Uh, bingo, he plays Don over here, yeah, Kui looks forced, ooh, Apiculi on his rack doesn't play, yeah, I missed reavowing. alright, I gotta go here, let me quickly do this, uh, Lich, yeah, I miss, I keep missing reavowing. oh, and he missed Waterly though, so I dodged a bullet there, yeah, I just kept missing reavowing. and, uh, yeah, Jerky Tough, well, yeah, I don't think Redna was correct, he probably should play off OW somewhere, but, I don't know, um, I missed Lazar, for 48 over here, unfortunately, but I might give back something, so, yeah, Lays looks fine. Okay, so yeah, good game there. Lucky to uh, come away with that one. Wow, so, um, all right, so three games down. Now we start game number four against uh, JDH. I'm not actually sure who JDH is, but uh, if, uh, if JDH is watching this video and uh, cares to identify himself or herself, then uh, please do go ahead. And uh, they're going to be first XI. That doesn't give me what I wanted. I needed like an N for animator or C for aromatic or something like that. So I guess just Oma for 21 here, keeping it tight, scoring. Yeah, it seems like that's got to be the best play. I'm just not seeing anything better. Not the best draw here. Almost Tularemia. If I had an E instead of an I, I'd be able to bingo with a 9 through the MI, but not quite. Are there even any 8s I can get with this? There might not be. It feels like there's one, but I don't even see it immediately. So he plays Z for 26. Okay. So Zeta, probably something there, like Uriel or Ritual. Anything through this D on the double-double? I don't believe so. So yeah, let's just uh, play... I don't think it really matters too much. I guess I might as well just play Ritual, go for turnover, right? I mean, I don't see a good... I don't think AT is really materially better than just an A at this point. So yeah, let's just... Uh, all right, and that's why you go for turnover, guys, because now I got a blank, and I should be bingoing, because I've got anti-war on my rack at the minimum. And let's see, that's going to play with La on the right. Rainwear to the R in Ritual, though it's pretty bad. War Paint to the T is less points, but it's a lot safer. Yeah, Rainwear opening all those spots right below the triple word scores is not something I want to do. But I'm just going to go ahead and play um, Anti-War. There's, there's no other sevens, right? Because Anti-War does still give back some pretty big spots, but I don't see anything else that plays. So in the interest of time, let's go ahead and do that. So we take a 60 point lead, but still very early in this game, of course. So anything can still happen. Unific. Probably going to play Unific and Cox on my next turn. 
but we will see. Yeah, I mean, this is not a good rack at all. I, I, U, F on it. Thankfully, I do have Unific, like I said, to get rid of the tiles. I can also play here. The problem is I just don't have a lot. I, mean, I can play Fane, but I see you not a great leave and not dying to put a tile in the middle of that. All right, he plays Dash, so maybe, well, actually, probably Shufa. Okay, so he bingos with Restore, ties the game, basically. I guess I'll just play Weenie here, maybe? I don't know. I don't see anything above Restore that's particularly good, so... Yeah, I think let's just do do this. It's not a great looking play, keeping IY, but I don't know. I don't really see anything better. And I draw very poorly, unfortunately. Two I's, two O's, and a Y. Yeah, that was probably not my best play there. I'm not really sure what I should have done, but probably not that. Yeah, because now I just don't have a lot of options. I probably have to play Oi on the bottom right, which keeps I I N D O, which is uh, certainly not a great leave by any means. So yeah, we'll just have to uh, see what they do. But not loving my options here. Okay, Bra, so yeah, probably, well I could play Iodins and Bronze, that's actually better. Yeah, I'd uh, rather turn over more tiles for sure. Yeah, that's, I think, gotta be considerably better. I can also play Oi next turn still, so yeah, let's do that. And... I don't think there's a bingo here, as far as I know. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, and Pinky comes down, dumping a bunch of consonants. That looks like a good play. I'll probably now just play Oi. It keeps a great leave, obviously, enter. There's also Weenier there, so a lot of bingo potential on my next turn with that strong a leave. Let's see if I can make it happen. I will, and Toner Turney on. Uh, turning on plays with Weenier, non-inert also plays through the N and Weenie, a three N bingo, so something should go down, most likely. Turning on is probably better just because it's more points, and well now I probably want to play turning ons or in toners. That S is still more dangerous than the Weenie hooks, I'd imagine, so yeah, that's got to be right. And yeah, now... I'm definitely in the driver's seat, but, you know, there's still a blank and an S left, a Q and a J, so gotta stay alert here, guys. This game is, is not over, trust me. And, yeah, this is not a good rack. He plays Jow, probably just Veg to block a little on the bottom is sensible. Um, yeah. I don't see much else. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Like I said, blocking some space. Oh, I got a blank. Okay, that's the other blank. That's very, very good. The uh, glue pot is there, but I don't know what else. Uh, anything through this N? I don't see it if it's there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing through through the N. Uh, let's see. A, B, C, D... Yeah, if it's there, I'm not seeing it. Um, okay, so, yeah, out peg or something. That's not a word. Are there no other sevens other than glue pot? I'm up 50. So, if he doesn't bingo, I should win. I mean, there's still a Q. Sned, that's a good play, opening a line. I probably should block it. Or, I mean, honestly, though, I should... If I just play, like, Pug or UG, I should just bingo. That's, you know, why don't I do... Well, see, I don't really want to play Rug and give back Ruga, though. Um, maybe Tug. Yeah, let's play Tug. Although, I guess the problem is that if he bingoes through the end, I could be screwed because I don't have a spot to bingo back. Yeah, I think if I'm going to play aggressive with the blank, I should try to keep two lines open, actually, so that if he hits one, I can still hit the other. So let's play... Yeah, let's play Tug here, maybe, or, like I said, get rid of the... Get rid of Pug. Um, yeah, I mean, blocking that D is tempting. It's pretty unlike. It's not. It's more likely he hits the D than the N. It's not likely he hits the N. I can actually still bingo on the bottom. Yeah, let's play Tug. I changed my mind. I think that's the right play. I try the other G, which is not great. But yeah, I mean, with like foliated and stuff, there's just so much to that D that's going to score well. Um, yeah, he plays Quad. I'm not worried about getting outrun with the blank. Uh, I mean, Prodigy through this N genotype. Okay. Blank Y, I ought to do it. Yeah, there's nothing unseen. I draw terribly, but that should put it away. 
Yeah, he's scoring well. He played a good game here. He kept uh, scoring pretty well. He's got BFE. Let me just be a little cautious, but I should be fine. I got a minute here. Um, low C or something. He's not going out, right? I don't think. Yeah, low C, L O C I E, probably fine. Uh, anything that doesn't give him something. I mean, he can probably like fat on top. He, I mean, he's going to probably cut this to like 20 or so. I don't really see anything better than low C over here. So yeah, let's uh, let's just do that. And yeah, I mean, I'm obviously going out multiple places. I'm up 40 points. So yeah, he's not going to have anything particularly great, I don't think, here. I mean, yeah, probably just like Fett or something on the top is my guess. Yeah, and that's exactly what he plays. So yeah, I'm playing Nail... Probably best is to play nail over here. There might be something a little bit. No, rail. Let's play rail. Okay, yeah, that looks good. 13 points and out. Good game. Um, yeah, very good game here. Let's see if we can do a quick analysis before the final round. Let's see. Okay. Inter probably I would have maybe traded if I were my opponent there, keeping five consonants, but interesting. I, oh, I missed lays. That's a cool play. I'm fine with ritual, though. Just again, turning over tiles is, is nice. I get rewarded for it. Um, oh, shoot. I missed it. Yeah, it's probably too risky, though, with the lack hook. Yeah, with lace and stuff. I'd, I should have seen it, but I think Chuff is fine at the expense of the worst leave. Yeah, I didn't know what to do here. Sinewy maybe slightly better, but not a lot of options. Um, yeah, he had maybe a couple better plays than Brawl, but Brawl's certainly not terrible. Ooh, Pesky and Weenies. Yeah, that's... Well, I mean, EST is such a good leave. I don't hate this. I mean, honestly... Keeping EST. Probably Pesky is worth it. It's a lot of points, 18 to give up, but it's not a terrible play by any means. He plays Stay. I, I like that. And, um, oh, I didn't even, that's funny. I didn't even think about non inert as a double double. I only saw it as a non double double. But Intoners, I think, is still fine, honestly, to block the S. It's probably a better play. Um, and then let's see, did I miss anything here? No, I didn't. So Tug seems fine. And then, yeah, Genotype only bingo. Okay, so good stuff there. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty guys, game number five, the final game is underway, and I'm playing Andrew Friedman, who is a strong expert from New York City. I uh, I used to play Andrew all the time when I lived in the New York area and would play at uh, Club 56 in Manhattan. So Andrew and I go back a, uh, a long way, but it's uh, it's been a long time since I've I've played him. So uh, so Andrew, if you're watching this video, uh, good to see you. Hope all is well. Um, I do have uh, some bingos to this S. I'm going to bingo with Bambinos for 98 over here. So a, a good start. And, ooh, he gets down to viewings immediately. Okay, so back-to-back -back fireworks here. Um, do I have any extensions to to Kings? Uh, Tuckings? I don't think that's good. I'm going to double-check because it's void, so I can, I can check. Oh, it is good. Okay, yeah, see, I had a funny feeling it, it was. I sort of recognized it. Um, I wasn't positive, but like I said, it is void, so I figured I would take advantage of it. Um, okay, so, yeah, a lot of Ings words on the board. I could have actually been going with bombings instead of Bambinos, which would have been pretty crazy. We'd have had three Ings eights on the board, but... Um, all right, so even game. I've got a pretty good rack here. I've got the, the Z. And what am I going to do with it? Um, freeze doesn't fit really through this E... Um, let's see. I don't really see all that much. Wow, Goa for six. He is definitely fishing here. He's probably close to a bingo. How about Furs? That looks good. 37 blocks a little on the left after his fish. AER is a good leave. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Dang, not a good draw here. Too many vowels. Um, oh, he drew the Q. Wow, okay, that's unlucky for him. So yeah, probably just airy. Take out that spot, dump some vowels. I could also fish again. Maybe I should fish. Maybe I just play Eve. Nah, I don't know. I'd rather I'd rather do this. It's more my style, I think. I, I don't really like fishing if I don't have to. So let's uh, let's just do that. Um, oh, I have a stet. That's a nice one. Through this T. Unlikely to get blocked. He bingos with enameler, but I'm going to hammer this back down. So yeah, very exciting game so far. A lot of, uh, I said, a lot of fireworks. Um, up, but not up a lot. So, all right, what do I have here? Not a whole lot of stuff, I don't think. Um, huh. 
Something. Oh, Kindar. That's cool. It's 30 points. It's not bad. Keeps PUN, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. It's blocked now, unfortunately. So he yeah, plays Y. Prawn, that doesn't seem like a great play. Anuran doesn't seem great either. Maybe, maybe this. 22. Kind of would rather get rid of that U if I could. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't like any of those options. Do I have any? I have a ton of time. I can, I can, I can play a little slower here. Maybe Puna. That's, yeah, NRD isn't bad. It's, there's enough vowels in the pool. I'm not too nervous about that leave. Um, hmm. Hmm, tough turn. Yeah, I think I like Puna so far. Not seeing anything that's jumping out at me. So, all right, let's, uh, let's do that. And, wow, he, he is just blitzing out moves here. Xing comes down immediately. All right, so he's, he's up a little bit, but he's not up all that much. Yeah, I need some more scoring tiles here badly. Um, all right, so maybe I just want to try to play, like, Tundra or something. Okay. Um, do I have from this A anything there? I don't really think so. Maybe, I mean, just Daunt? I don't know how else to really... I don't have a way to score. Yeah, I think I just do this. I don't know. I don't really see anything. DR is a somewhat Val-heavy leave, so it's not a bad play. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't really see anything else. Let's uh, let's do this. Uh, is there a bingo here? Feels like there is. Maybe not. Radionic. No, it needs an S. Cardioid with a D. Huh. I don't think there's a big, oh, almost like myocardia or something, but not quite. Hmm. Probably have to play Iotic or something, which I'm not dying to do. Problem is, I'm, I'm not in a good position here. Yeah, he just he keeps scoring. I, I'm not going to win if I don't play a little aggressively, unfortunately, I don't think. Uh, so I think Iotic, I think my hand is a little bit forced, almost diuretic. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not loving this at all, but I think I got to do it. Let's see. Not a great draw either. I'm not down much, but again, the problem is he's got tempo and a little bit of a lead. So yeah, we'll see what he, he does. I mean, I'll play Frit through this eye if I can. He plays Lodic. Um, Do I have anything under Iotic, maybe? Like... A free or something? Uh, not really. Could play a free over here. It's not particularly good. I maybe could still win this without bingoing, but it's going to be tough. Uh, just uh, fat keeping TIRR doesn't seem like a good play at all. Yeah, I just don't like my chances at all after that. I'm going to play a free, I think, over that easily. And I need one of those E's, I think, probably, if I want to have a chance here. Yeah, I mean, I think I've got to gotta do that. I, mean, I could also play, like, Thrat on the right. I think I like this. You know, let's, uh, let's see what happens after this. All right, that looks a little better. And he plays, he just goes with Volley. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can outscore him somehow. Probably not. What can I fish for? Hmm. We'll try to set something up, maybe? It's going to be tough. I probably need to try to draw that E. Like, if I can draw hard set or something, or... Yeah, you know, like, what if I, if I do like this? If I draw the E, I'd probably win, right? I mean, hard set. Hardest, Dearth, Hatreds, something's going to play on the bottom. Trash to play. So yeah, I mean, that wins one out of eight. I don't know. I mean, it's not good. But I don't think I can win without Bingo in here, guys. I mean, I just don't, unfortunately. So, yeah. All right. Give me an E. Damn it. Okay. He's going to get this one. Well played. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I mean, I don't think I had anything else. 
as far as I could tell. Yeah, I just uh, really couldn't couldn't get any ease towards the last part of this game, which uh, which was my downfall for the most part, I would say. Um, all right, so I guess I'll just play trash here. I don't see anything better, and he's gonna go out. So yeah, we finished four and one, so not quite five and zero, oh, but still a pretty good performance, all things all things considered. And we'll see if it's good enough to win the tournament. We might end up uh, coming in second. I don't know who uh, I don't know who else. I didn't check the standings. Um, yeah, so well played to Andrew. Let's uh, let's do a quick analysis of this one here. Uh, it was a very good game. So he played kings. Ooh, snobism. That's a, that's a good one. But yeah, Bambinos is certainly fine. Let's see. Tuckings, yeah, just an absolute shootout of a game here. I mean, we both kept bingoing left and right. Yeah, maybe I should have fished here, I don't know, instead of airy, but I did get another bingo down. And let's see. Yeah, no, I'm playing, like, pretty well here. So far, pretty much all the top equity plays. Yeah, this play, though. Ah, man. Maybe I just played dud. I don't know. I wanted to play... I, I wanted some more scoring tiles. It just was not a good board for bingoing. Yeah, here I think I probably got to do this. I didn't see Mirica. IOD, not a great leave. I just... I'm not in a good position. Again, that's the problem. Like... I'm down a tempo. I feel like I need to need to bingo. Volley was a good play by him, leaving only one in the bag. I think I have to fish here, guys. Like, I just don't think... I mean, he's going to be able to play his J. Like, I, I just don't think this ever realistically wins. Uh, I mean, I don't think. I might be wrong, but I know at least I win with an E-draw. Because uh, Trash plays with four overlaps on Dryadix. I'm happy with... Honestly, I'm happy with how I played this game, guys. Andrew played a really good game. So, uh, so yeah, credit to him. And now let's... Uh, Let's see what the final standings were here, guys. So, um, dang. So it looks like I didn't win. I came in third on spread. So yeah, me, uh, Andrew, and Zach, who I played a couple games ago, all, all four and one. So, uh, so congrats to Andrew, uh, who won. Oh, by the way, he joined late this tournament and, uh, won four in a row to, uh, to win the tournament. So very impressive. Um, well played to him in the last game and, uh, well played to, Zach as well. So, uh, so yeah, fun stuff. Um, again, congrats to, to everyone here who, uh, who finished ahead of me. And, uh, thanks to Josh Sokol as always for, for directing these. And, uh, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always, uh, always enjoy these, uh, undercover videos. I'll, uh, I'll certainly be back. And, uh, and yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this one, guys, tonight. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Bye bye.